Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to We're Gonna Change. Today, we're gonna be talking about uh, some messages that were sent to an NFL player that were quite wild. So let's go ahead and start. Shaking my effing head. This is not okay. Y'all might wonder why I post this. Peep the next one first. Hey, and it says here, hey, N-word, do you know how to hold onto a gun and pull the trigger? I mean, give it a try, because clearly you can't hold on to the football, which is your professional career. So try something else new, please. This is sent to a Vikings running back, as you can see right here. After the Eagles game, Vikings running back Alexander Madison was called the N-word and was told he should commit uh, self-delete himself and was told by a number of other it was told a number of other racist terms in the DM by fans he shared on Instagram. This is what some athletes face every week and hurtful and gross and wrong. All right. So let's go on to the next part of this. Okay. It says, you stupid effing coon. Mm -mm. Learn how to hold on to the ball. You get paid millions and do and can't do shit. This this team is 2-0 with Dalvin Cook. Move your black ass back to Boise and start selling cars or something, you useless N-word. If you decide that's not for you, take your life. Wow. God knows you're black ass dumber than shit, so you can't do anything with common knowledge. Y'all can come at me and you want... Y'all can come at, you, come at me all you want about fantasy and you suck, blah, blah, blah. I really could care less, but this shit is unacceptable. Shaking my effing head. I hope the 60 plus people who decided to come at me with discussing and disrespectful messages tonight in the DMs and comments really reflect on what the F you say and how it could truly affect someone under my helmet. I Under my helmet, I am a human, a father, a son. This is sick. Shaking my effing, I mean, or just shaking my head. Okay, let's get back to this. Okay. So, here's here's my thing. I understand that this individual was saying that it's disgusting what this person said, and I would agree. The way the part I pushed back on is that in uh push back on the tweet is that this is not a football thing, it's not a black thing, it's not a um this only happens to you thing. If you put yourself on the internet of your or if you are a public figure, which is an NFL player. Just like you have to go do post-game interviews and stuff like that. You sign a contract. When you sign up to make this kind of money and when you sign up to be a public figure in the NFL, I'm sorry to tell you this, but people are going to hate you. People are going to say disgusting things to you. And I, I, I know what he's trying to say and he's trying to exploit it, but he didn't exploit anything. And it's hard for people who are on the Internet. And I, I know it's hard for people who are not on the Internet to understand, but if you're a person who makes videos, if you're a person who is a content creator in any form or fashion, or if you're a person who's just a public figure, like people who are in pageants or people who play professional sports, or you're on you're on the news, you're on TV in some way, anybody who plays that public figure role, just know that people are always going to call you names. And I, it's not a black thing because I tell you, women will say that they get called all types of names, right? White guys, they get called all types of names. Hispanic guys, they get called all types of names. Asian people, they get called all types of names. Because people, when somebody is hateful in this manner, they will find anything and everything to call you something that's outside of your name that's disrespectful. And it's absolutely disgusting. I'm just, I'm not trying to say that what this person said is good, obviously. I'm not trying to say that this person was justified, obviously but what i am trying to say is that this is one of those welcome to the internet moments welcome to being a public figure it's going to happen and it will happen again people who get behind these keyboards just feel like they can say and do whatever they want to they're anonymous the other day i was watching matt walsh talk about how he got called out for being a coward because he didn't say something about a political candidate matt walsh goes on to say that he's been doxxed numerous times so much that it was trending on X. Not only that, he has been told that people want to take his family's life all the time. He said he gets letters in the mail. He has to have 24-hour security. And he has to have security every day watching his house 24-7 because sometimes people have even came by his house and started taking picture of his children and using this as blackmail, like using it as I know where you live. I know where you this. I'll come to your house if you don't shut up. 
what I'm trying to say is that these people behind the keyboard will say anything and everything. And then people in real life will do anything and say anything. When you decide to put your face on a football team, unfortunately, you are a public figure. When you become part of the NFL team, even if you wear a helmet, when you take the thing off, they're going to know who you are. And obviously, you're a public figure because you have DMs that fans can go to and look at your stuff and be able to DM you, right? So I'm just not shocked by any of this. Um, I understand what he's trying to do and what he's trying to say. And the NFL even came out and made a statement that says we are against these comments. But I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know why the NFL came out and said that we're against comments like this. It's like, duh. A vast majority of the human race is against comments that go after a person because of the color of their skin or just go after a person because they don't like them. And this person, I don't even think they're. I know some people may say this person's racist. I don't know if this person's racist because they use the N-word. Do I think this person <clears throat> is definitely got something going on and this person is disgusting? Yes. I think they probably talk to other players the same way, but they just happen to pick a black man. And what's the one word you can say to a black man? The N-word. Because they know that's going to push you past the limit, right? If you're a white guy, what words are they going to use? They're going to call you female genitalia they're gonna call you the b-word they'll call you white boy and they'll call you other words they can come up with because there's a ton of racist things you can say towards whites hispanics asians uh, native americans or any of that kind of stuff if people know something they can call you that's gonna um insult you they'll figure out a way to say it the n-word is just a, a quick go-to so with all that being said let me know what you think do you think that they should have said this no obviously not that do you think that this man should have put out the text messages. Do you think he is unique? Do you think he's done anything special? Or do you think, how do I say this? Do you think he's being a little sensitive? I'm not saying it's right to say this stuff. I don't, I don't want to be called the N word. I don't want to be called anything in my DMs. And I've had people send me cash apps calling me all types of names. They just sent me a cash app just to call me names. So let me know what you guys think. Um, y'all think this is ridiculous? Or do you think he's being a little bit sensitive? I mean, be honest. Y'all think he's being a little bit sensitive? Or you think that he was completely justified? And do you think we all should start showing text messages of stuff that we recalled? Something to think about. Y'all have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace. And one thing I want to say is I haven't been putting my donations up because I forgot. So it's back. So next time you watch the video, it'll be there. Goodbye.